Hello, Royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So, now I've got to tell you, when this latest bombshell about Meghan Markle dropped, I literally had to sit down and collect myself. You know I always keep it real with you. And today, we need to have a serious heart-to-heart -heart about what's unfolding with Tyler Perry and our favorite former royal troublemaker. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the absolute irony here? The very man who opened his mansion doors to Harry and Meghan when they fled their royal duties, Tyler Perry himself, is now allegedly sitting on video evidence of Meghan's true colors. I've got to say, this doesn't surprise me one bit. Not one bit. You see, my lovely viewers, I've been saying this for years. There's always been something off about the way Meghan presents herself to the world. While our beloved Princess Catherine has been quietly and gracefully serving the monarchy, raising her beautiful children, and supporting her husband, Prince William, in his duties. Meghan has been, um, well, being Meghan. Let me paint you a picture of what reportedly happened. Here's Tyler Perry, a self-made success story, generously offering his 18 million mansion as a sanctuary to the Sussexes. His staff, who I'm sure are absolutely wonderful people just trying to do their jobs, suddenly find themselves dealing with, let's call it, challenging behavior from their royal guest. Now, doesn't this sound eerily familiar? Remember the palace staff allegations? Those tearful accounts from Kensington Palace employees? The pattern is becoming clearer than a crystal champagne flute, my friends. And now Tyler Perry might have actual footage? You know what breaks my heart the most? It's watching what this woman has done to our dear Prince Harry. The Harry we all knew and loved. The cheeky, charming prince who served his country, who made his mother, Princess Diana, so proud, has been reduced to a shadow of his former self. While his brother William continues to embody everything a future king should be, Harry is out there in Montecito, seemingly dancing to whatever tune Meghan plays. Let's talk about timing for a moment. Why would Tyler Perry consider releasing this now? I'll tell you why, because sometimes enough is enough. Even the most patient, kind-hearted people have their breaking point. And if what I'm hearing about this footage is true, well, it could be the final nail in the coffin of Meghan's carefully crafted victim narrative. Meanwhile, back in Britain, have you seen how magnificently our real royals are handling themselves? King Charles, despite everything Harry and Meghan have thrown at the family, continues to lead with dignity. Queen Camilla stands steadfastly by his side, proving all the naysayers wrong. And Catherine? Oh, Catherine, she just radiates grace under pressure. That's what a true royal looks like, my friends. You know what's particularly interesting about this Tyler Perry situation? It's coming from someone who was actually on their side. This isn't the evil British media or the oppressive monarchy that Meghan loves to blame. This is someone who literally gave them shelter during their so-called escape. If he's turned against them, what does that tell you? I've got to share something personal with you all. As someone who's worked in media for years, I've seen my fair share of celebrities and public figures. There's always a telling difference between those who are genuine and those who are playing a role. Our Catherine, for instance, every person I know who's met her says the same thing. She's exactly as lovely in private as she appears in public. But Megan, these stories keep coming out from different sources, different countries, different contexts. At some point, we have to acknowledge the common denominator. And let's talk about these staff allegations. Having worked with various teams myself, I know how important it is to treat everyone with respect, regardless of their position. The fact that there are now multiple accounts of Meghan's allegedly poor treatment of staff, first from the palace, now from Tyler Perry's household, it speaks volumes, real volumes. The stark contrast between the two royal wives couldn't be more apparent. While Catherine is out there working tirelessly on her early years project, showing up for her engagements with genuine enthusiasm, and being a hands-on mother. What's Megan doing? Well, apparently she's leaving a trail of disgruntled staff members across continents. You know what really gets me? The timing of all this. Just when William and Catherine are doing such incredible work, when the monarchy is showing exactly why it's such an important institution, 
Here comes another Megan-related scandal threatening to overshadow it all. It's almost like, well, I'll let you draw your own conclusions about the timing. I have to say, the reported details about how she treated Perry's staff are particularly troubling. These are people who are used to dealing with A-list celebrities. Yet something about Megan's behavior is apparently so concerning that Perry felt compelled to document it. Think about that for a moment. This isn't some tabloid speculation. This is allegedly actual footage. And where's Harry in all this? That's what I keep asking myself. The Harry we knew would never have stood by while staff were being mistreated. But this new California version of Harry, he seems to have lost his voice, except when it's time to criticize his own family. It's heartbreaking, truly heartbreaking. Remember how different things were when Harry was still part of the firm? The way he, William, and Catherine worked together? They were such a powerful trio doing amazing charitable work, bringing a modern touch to ancient traditions. Now look at, by contrast, William and Catherine carrying on that legacy beautifully, while Harry, well, you know, I've got to tell you something that really struck me about this whole situation. Think about how many people have now come forward with similar stories about Meghan's behavior. We've had palace staff, royal courtiers, Tyler Perry's people, all seemingly painting the same picture. At what point do we acknowledge that where there's smoke, there's usually fire? And let's not forget how this affects our beloved monarchy. While King Charles is working tirelessly to modernize the institution while preserving its dignity, while William and Catherine are raising the next generation of royals with such care and consciousness, the Sussexes continue to create drama from across the pond. It's like they can't help themselves. The potential impact of this video, if it ever sees the light of day, could be massive. But you know what? Maybe it needs to be. Maybe the world needs to see the reality behind the carefully curated image. Because while our working royals continue to serve with dignity and grace, this constant drip of revelations about Meghan's behavior keeps confirming what many of us have suspected all along. I have to say, my heart goes out to the staff members involved. Whether at the palace or in Tyler Perry's mansion, these are hardworking people who deserve respect. They're not asking for much, just basic human decency. And yet, time and time again, we hear these troubling accounts. You know what's particularly striking? The consistency of these stories. From London to Los Angeles, the patterns of behavior described are remarkably similar. And now, with Perry potentially having video evidence, well, that could change everything, couldn't it? Let's take a moment to appreciate how our real royals handle their staff. Have you ever heard a negative word about how Catherine treats people, or William, or King Charles and Queen Camilla? They understand that the monarchy functions because of the dedicated people who work behind the scenes. That's what real leadership looks like. I keep thinking about Princess Diana and what she would make of all this. She, E, who was known for her kindness to everyone regardless of their status, who taught her boys the importance of treating all people with respect. I can't help but feel she would be devastated to see what's happening now. And speaking of Diana, look at how differently her daughters-in-law have honored her legacy. Catherine quietly pays tribute through her actions, her parenting, her charity work. Meanwhile, Megan seems to use Diana's name whenever it suits her narrative. The difference is stark, isn't it? The possible existence of this video raises so many questions. If Perry does have footage, what made him decide to document these incidents? What was happening that was so concerning that he felt the need to preserve evidence? These are questions we need to be asking. You know what really strikes me about this whole situation? The sheer number of bridges Megan seems to burn wherever she goes. From her own family to the royal family, from palace staff to Tyler Perry's household. It's a pattern that's impossible to ignore. And while all this drama unfolds, look at what our working royals are doing. William and Catherine continue their incredible work with such dignity. King Charles is leading the monarchy into a new era with wisdom and grace. Queen Camilla has proven herself to be an invaluable support to the crown. That's what real public service looks like. I've got to say the contrast between how the two couples handle themselves couldn't be more stark. While the Prince and Princess of Wales get on with their duties without fuss or drama, 
The Sussexes seem to lurch from one controversy to another. It's almost like they don't know how to exist without chaos surrounding them. You know what I find particularly telling? The way different staff members who've worked with Megan seem to have similar stories. Whether it's in Britain or America, whether it's Royal Household staff or Tyler Perry's employees, the accounts share common themes. That's not coincidence, my friends. And let's talk about Harry's role in all this. The man who once was the people's prince, who served his country with distinction, who brought such joy to the royal family. Where is that Harry now? It's like watching a Shakespeare tragedy unfold in real time. The impact on the monarchy is what concerns me most. While William and Catherine work tirelessly to prepare for their future roles, while King Charles leads with such wisdom, these constant Sussex dramas risk overshadowing the incredible work being done by our working royals. I have to wonder, what would Queen Elizabeth make of all this? She who dedicated her entire life to service, who understood the true meaning of duty, how would she view these ongoing controversies? I think we all know the answer to that. You know what gives me hope, though? Watching how William and Catherine handle everything with such grace. They never stoop to responding to drama. They just keep focusing on their work, on their children, on their duties. That's true nobility right there. As we wait to see whether this alleged video will ever become public, I think it's important to remember something. Actions speak louder than words. And while some people talk about kindness and compassion, others quietly live those values every day. I think we all know which category our beloved Catherine falls into. I've got to say, my dear viewers, I dear viewers, this story is far from over. But whatever happens next, we can take comfort in knowing that the real heart of our monarchy, the King, Queen Camilla, William, and Catherine, remain strong and steadfast. They're the ones who truly understand what service means. Before I sign off, I want to hear what you think about all this. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Are you surprised by these allegations about Megan? What do you think about Tyler Perry potentially having video evidence? Let's keep this conversation going. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to stay updated on all the latest royal news and commentary. Until next time, my royal watchers, stay true to the real royals. And remember, actions always speak louder than words. Sending you all my love and God save the king. Thank you.